According to a study, only 10 to 15 percent of people are self-aware, even though 95 percent believe they are. This study also demonstrates that while a lack of self-awareness has the exact opposite effect on your odds of success, focusing on increasing your self-awareness positively influences them. People who aren't self-aware don't realize how their choices affect their lives. Lack of self-awareness can reduce your chances of victory by half. Hello and welcome to Luxio. In this video, we have 15 exciting ways you can do to increase your self-awareness. Before we begin, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on more of our incredible videos. Number one, be aware of your weaknesses. Even while they shouldn't be a major factor in your journey toward self-awareness and personal growth, it's significant that you realize your weaknesses. Understanding your shortcomings is a beautiful approach to evaluating your strengths and areas for improvement because it shows where you are limited. Now, keep in mind that your weaknesses do not define you. You simply need to be aware of them. Knowing when to ask for help and when to handle things on your own will be made easier with this information. Number two, let down your defenses. This might sound like awful advice, but it's not. Have you ever observed how defensive you become when you learn something new about yourself, particularly if you don't like it? That's just your instinct attempting to keep you safe. However, this is what we advise you to do. Learn more about this aspect of yourself by letting down your defenses rather than criticizing them or choosing to ignore them. Recognize that it's okay to learn new things about yourself throughout time, even if they don't entirely fit into earlier perceptions of who you are. You won't get, get complete self-awareness unless you confront these less attractive aspects of yourself. Number three, question your beliefs and values. It's fair to question your beliefs and ideals to understand yourself better. Most of the time, our values are a close reflection of who we are and questioning them forces us to examine our beliefs, attitudes, and actions and the biases that stem from these beliefs. Contrary to popular belief, however, examining your morals and principles is not an attempt to disprove oneself. It's just a chance to investigate the idea that your values might shift and that you shouldn't be afraid of change. Number four, understand your triggers. Everybody has a particular trigger. If you don't identify and accept your triggers, unpleasant things could happen on your path to self-awareness. Understanding your triggers is essential for helping you develop coping mechanisms and learn how to respond to them. Confronting your triggers involves a lot of effort. Number five, have an open mind. If you don't keep an open mind, how do you think you'll ever learn to be self-aware? This is because when you are available to discover more about yourself, it is simpler to accept your flaws and attempt to improve them. Being open also makes questioning your beliefs and positions on particular issues simpler, especially when you gain more knowledge about eliminating negative mindsets like sadness or hopelessness. Be willing to discover that you can be content in any situation. Having an open mind will also help you become more self-aware. Number six, note everything down. You might be questioning how writing could be useful and that's understandable. Well, whether we like it or not, writing is still among the best ways to monitor our progress in case you weren't aware. You can record the daily objectives you've achieved along with your feelings and any motivations. You can see how far you've come and what you need to do to get further by regularly writing down this information. Number seven, try something new. Your self-awareness can be enhanced by deciding to immerse yourself 
in new experiences. This is partly because new experiences force you to step outside your comfort zone and think and respond in challenging situations. Will you run or will you confront this head on? Now, remember that the extent to which this impacts your level of self-awareness will depend on how you respond to this question. Moreover, new experiences don't always involve challenging tasks or circumstances. It may be as straightforward as going to a new place, attending a party, or making new friends. No matter how good or bad the experience turns out to be, we are confident that you will discover something new about yourself. Number eight, don't forget to check in with yourself. You can fully build your self-awareness in a day or a week. It takes a lifetime to do so. But here's the thing, always remember to check in with yourself regardless of how long it takes. Consider how the entire procedure makes you feel and what might contribute to it. It can be challenging to increase self-awareness, but regular check-ins will help you monitor your progress. Number nine, know where you're good at. How often have you told that you are special? Probably a thousand times or more, am I right? But given that more than 7 billion of us live on the planet, have you ever wondered why each of us is unique? Our strengths identify the majority of us. Therefore, knowing your skills and abilities is a surefire approach to improving your self-awareness. Why are these qualities so important? They will help you get started and show you the steps you need to accomplish your goals. But it goes beyond simply being aware of your advantages. Additionally, it's critical to deliberately work on improving them because doing so will only serve to push you outside your comfort zone. Number 10. Learn something new about yourself. Isn't it strange that we all go through life supposing we are fully self-aware? Each of us is special and fascinating in our way. We need to be truly curious about ourselves to become self-aware. Spend time learning about how your mind works, then analyze what you discover. Understand your body, what makes you feel triggered, what makes you feel calm, and what makes you lose it. We can all occasionally get a little too afraid to learn certain things about ourselves. However, if complete self-awareness is your aim, you must travel down those paths no matter how unpleasant they may seem. Number 11. Ask for feedback. It can be challenging to learn about yourself, but you can always ask other people what they think. This not only makes learning much simpler overall, but it also gives you the possibility to discover new things about yourself. You might learn something about yourself from an employer's opinion that you never even thought to look at, but always ensure the people you approach for comments are close enough to you to have an informed opinion. Additionally, trust is essential. So make sure you're asking someone you can trust for their opinion. But we are all aware of the reality of feedback. Accepting criticism can be challenging, especially if it doesn't sound pleasant. But that's where the laborious process begins. To have a deeper awareness of yourself, you must be willing to consider things from their viewpoint. Constructive criticism is a vital instrument for personal growth and development rather than an attack on your personality. Number 12. Identify your core values. You need to go beyond simply challenging your core values. It's equally vital that you know your basic principles and comprehend why they are significant to you. These principles will give you a why when times are tough and motivate you to try even when every fiber of your being resists. Knowing your values can also help you identify your goals in life and the steps necessary to achieve them. Unfortunately, when you don't know your values, 
you risk making decisions that aren't necessarily in your best interests. You might start by asking your close friends for recommendations, or you can try a more complex yet effective self-reflection technique. Try to recall when you had genuine joy or true despair and look for the principles you held dear at those times. Number 13. Self-discipline. One of the essential values for everyone is self-discipline. It is the capacity to restrain your urges, thoughts, emotions, and actions. This quality is essential for developing self-awareness because it enables you to maintain a singular concentration on what you need to do in the face of temptations or impulses. Remembering self-control enables you to form positive habits, maximize your potential, and push your boundaries, which are even more crucial for increasing your self-awareness. Number 14. Practice meditation. Although meditation has many advantages, one of its most significant advantages is its capacity to increase self-awareness. In reality, self-awareness is the key to various additional benefits of meditation. Meditation is a simple, effective practice that is even more interesting because it can help you think about your life. You'll become highly aware of everything around you when meditating, including yourself. This is a great way to become more self-aware and understand yourself. Number 15. Take examinations. Taking a few psychometric tests is not wrong if you're interested in developing your self-awareness. The Big Five Personality Exam or the Myers-Briggs Personality Test are excellent places to start. Your self-awareness journey will undoubtedly be improved by understanding more about your personality type and the outcome. Now, although these test results aren't always correct because people are inherently different and complex, they are sufficient to lead you in the proper direction. How many of these steps have you incorporated in your self-awareness journey? We'd love to know them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for supporting us. If you enjoy seeing videos like these, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring and valuable content. We'll see you in the next video.